Hello everyone, I'm Fixer and I'm here to scratch my proverbial indie itch where I play short single session indie games like Colin Teeley's Storm Boy the Game. So this releases today, that's November 20th. It is on Steam for $6. It was developed and published by Blowfish Studios who were kind enough to provide me with a key for this video. Now for those of you who don't know, Colin Teeley was an Australian children's author. Um, I, I've never heard of him or his, his books until this game, and I looked it up a little bit. So Storm Boy was actually written back in 1964, and this studio wanted to make a game based off this book. There's also a movie, I believe, in the works based off the same book. But anyways, I was scanning for new games, and I, and I saw this, and I liked the art style, and I read the synopsis, and I'm like, yeah, I, I gotta play this game. So here we are. Now this is a... A story driven game this is the type of game that perhaps after watching it for maybe 10 minutes if you feel you're going to like it maybe go ahead and shut the video off and, and purchase the game and, and support the dev that that put this out even though I don't know if this is a good game or not I feel like these types of games need to be supported in some way um, I like it when devs take risks uh, making a game based on a 1964 children's book I think that's fantastic, and I'm hoping for a good game. Uh, let's get started, I suppose. I don't know how long it is. I suspect it's not very. Stormboy lived with Hideaway Tom, his father. Years before, when Stormboy's mother had died, the text is going to go too fast. The only other man who lived anywhere near them was Figurebone Bill, the Aboriginal. Aha! Alright, so the text is based on where you're located. This is actually linear. I'm walking from left to right and not I don't have like free roam across this island. Years before when Stormboy's mother had died, he had left Adelaide and gone to live like a hermit by the sea. And we got Fingerbone Bill, the Aboriginal. At first, Hideaway was afraid that Stormboy would get lost, and so Hideaway looked for a landmark. One day he found a big piece of timber lying with the driftwood on the beach. There, said Hideaway, now you'll always have a lookout post. You'll be able to see it far up the beach, and you won't get lost. Okay, not getting lost sounds good. Some distance from the place where Hideaway and Fingerbone had built their humpies, the whole stretch of the Kurong and the land around it had been turned into a sanctuary. So we got some Australian lingo in here that I don't know. I don't know what a humpy is. Um, I'm guessing it's some kind of um, hut, a beach hut or some sort. That would be my guess. In the early morning, the tall birds stood up and clapped and cheered the rising sun. Stormboy felt the excitement and wonder of it. He often sat on the shore all day with his knees up and his chin cupped in his hands. Sometimes he wished he'd been born an ibis or a pelican. Can I click on that or... Does that mean I can view it? Daydreams like this can last as long as you like. Well, that's kind of neat. So I have this up here. Imagine you can fly with the other birds in the sanctuary. Use WSD or click and drag. Whoa! He ain't lying. The only thing I wish I'd be able to get rid of those two icons on the top of the screen. Can I land? No. This is very pretty. I do like the art. What's up, yo? Wow, this guy just cut me off. <sighs> I'm keeping this rated G, by the way. Since it is a children's book, I suspect maybe children would be watching. Alright, I think we're going back now. Uh, okay, we already read that. 
His father's voice roused him, and he ran down to the beach to help dig up a bag full of big cockles for their own tea. A hundred cockles is the limit per person. Find as many as you can. Oh! Okay. Holy cow, I gotta do a hundred of these? Do I get an achievement? I hope. So it's six clicks each. That's six hundred clicks. I gotta, I gotta do. Oh my god! Sorry, G. G. Um, that's gonna take too long. I got twelve. Twelve is enough. No need to be greedy. Thanks, Dad. You got tea for maybe a week or so. When Stormboy went walking along the beach, over the sand hills, or in the sanctuary, the birds were not afraid. They knew he was a friend. Hello, Mrs. Penguin, said Stormboy each day. How are your bits of thistle down today? Are we going to wait for a response or no? But sometimes... Stormboy saw things that made him sad. In spite of the warnings and notices, people hurt the birds. Yeah, people are jerks. One morning, Stormboy found everything in uproar and confusion. Uh oh. He heard a faint rustling and crying, and there under the sticks and grass of the broken nests there were three tiny pelicans, still alive. Uh, he then stole them and walked off into the sunset. Stormboy picked them up, up uh, carefully and hurried back with them. Hurried back? What do you mean, hurried back? I mean, that looks like a, uh, that looks like a legit nest. Alright, well, I guess back they mean forward? Two of the baby pelicans were fairly strong, but the third was desperately sick. It was three days before the baby pelican was well enough to sit up and ask for food. And that was how Mr. Proud, Mr. Ponder, and Mr. Percival came to live with Stormboy. Greedy pelicans will just keep eating fish. Um, hi. Oh. Um, there's no sense of... Like, depth of... <laughs> oh, look at their net. Here. How come I can't throw it further than... Do I... Oh, I actually throw it! Okay, I got gotcha. you. I feel you. There's fish all around you guys. I'm a fish magnet. I got an achievement, guys. You missed. This far away one. I'm not very good at it, am I? There we go. Alright, you guys had enough. At last, Hideaway spoke sternly to Storm Boy. Mr. Proud, Mr. Ponder, and Mr. Percival will have to go back the sanctuary where they came from. You just can't afford to feed them anymore. I mean, they just eat fish, guy. Why can't we just go fishing? That's a pretty shot. Time for respectable, respectable pelicans to get their own breakfast, Hideaway grumbled, instead of begging from their friends. And as time went on, he really meant what he said. <laughs> Do we have some kind of political undertones here? Stormboy was sad, but he always knew when his father had made up his mind. Yes, Dad, he said. Hideaway sailed for five miles up the sanctuary before he stopped the boat. Off you go, he said. Now you have to look after yourselves. 
Why do you have to drive them five miles away? Don't you think they could find their way back? Hideaway and Stormboy spent the day fishing. It was fine and sunny, but somehow it seemed cold. Told ya. Mr. Percival, it's Mr. Percival! Mr. Percival has come back home. Aww. Ever since the miracle of Mr. Percival's rescue, he had been Stormboy's favorite. Stormboy often had fun on the beach with Mr. Percival. Try swimming in different places to see what it's like underwater. Okay. Are, is that my boundaries over yonder? Alright, let's go out as deep as we can. I'm guessing that's going to stop me. Okay. Um. Whoa. Oh, the, the controls changed. All right. Well, that, that was kind of a little weird. I like how the music is, is muffled like it's underwater. It's kind of neat. All right, let's go back. How about here? Starfish, can I interact with them? Are you just going to chill up there, bird? Or are you going to come down here with me? Okay. Is there like a sparkle in the water over here today? Did, did I see something? I may have. I wonder if I could have gone deeper earlier. Probably, but who knows. I wonder why they chose this this linear option, at least in the water. It's very pretty, isn't it? Let's head over here. I want to see some bigger fish. See, this looks this looks similar. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go all the way to the other end. Also, where's where's my island? I feel like I feel like maybe I have strayed too far. This looks a little different. Maybe a little. Oh, uh, swimming with the fishes. It's very pretty. I don't know how many different like looks we get here, you know? It would be neat if there were things to interact with down here. But, you know, also, by the way, I did not read the book. I was considering reading the book before I played this. Just so I can have that comparison, right? Uh, I decided not to because I didn't want to be spoiled. This looks the same. Alright, let's, let's head on back. Let's go, Mr. Percival. We got stuff to do. Is he going to draw me? Wait a minute. Is he going to draw me like How to Train Your Dragon? Did How to Train Your Dragon steal the idea? Um, wait, what am I drawing?
I guess I could draw him. I don't know what it I don't know what these things look like. Close enough. Oh no, this is the end. Um Okay. That's water then. Um can I can I Oh no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to move some of these shells. I guess I can't. There you go. It looks just like you. Mr. Percival, it's you. Is he not going to draw me? No? All right. I got an achievement for that. I am an artiste. Whenever he threw the ball or a smooth pebble or a sea urchin or an old fishing reel, Mr. Percival snapped it up and brought it back. He played fetch, guys. Mr. Percival, fetch! Fetch it! This would be a cute game for kids to play, honestly. Well done, Mr. Percival. Well done! Um... Fetch! Alright, maybe I shouldn't go off screen. Alright, we'll do it. We'll give it one more shot. See how far I can get it. Look at him waddle. I like how he doesn't put it on the ground. Mr. Percival, give me the ball. Mr. Percival, give me the ball. Fine. If you don't want to play, we don't have to play. If Storm Boy went swimming or sliding down sand hills or playing on the sand, Mr. Percival found a good spot nearby and perched there heavily to watch and wait until it was over. Who's that? Does Mr. Percival have a friend? <gasps> Do we go sliding? Yay! Wow, right through the bushes. I have control, guys. This is cute. Oh no! Oof, ow. Well, Storm Boy now has one eye, but that's okay. He can still live a fulfilling life. All right, that's enough. One day as Hideaway was watching them play, he had an idea. If he could bring things back to you, perhaps you could carry things away too? Wow. That was weird how it changed like that, okay. Uh oh It was the year of the great storms. They began in May, even before the winter had started. In the darkness of early morning, Stormboy suddenly woke with Hideaway's voice in his ears. It's a wreck, Hideaway said. A shipwreck on the shore. I forgot, Australians have different winter than we do. Look at them, Stormboy yelled. We must help them. They'll be drowned. How can we... Oh, no. I know what's going to happen. How can we help? Said his father. We can't throw a line. It's too far. Stormboy gave a great shout. Mr. Percival, Mr. Percival is the one that can do it. He can fly. Oh, no. Mr. Percival is going to give his life for this. Whoa, whoa. Miss, good boy, Mr. Percival. In a minute, we'll have another try. Oh, I got to actually, like, fight the wind and not oversteer. Oh! Okay. All right. All right. I feel you, game. I feel you. All right. Oh! Oh, that's neat. They allow you to skip in case this is not your thing. I like that. But we're gonna try it. No! You've done it, you've done it! Stormboy, Hideaway, and Fingerbone shouted together as Mr. Percival landed on the beach. You're a good, brave, clever pelican. 
Thank you, Stormblade. Where am I, Stormblade? Between them all, they slowly hauled... Between them all, they slowly hauled the captain ashore and dragged him, pale and half-drowned, onto the beach. Saved, he kept saying weakly. Saved by a miracle and a penguin. There's only one guy on that? Wait. No, there's more than one guy. You're a big, wonderful bird, he said. He looked up at Hideaway. When he dies, you must send him to the museum. We'll put a label on the case. The pelican that saved six men's lives. All right, there you go. There were more than just him. Hideaway looked around quickly. He was glad Stormboy hadn't heard the captain's words. For the rest of the year, everyone was happy. The storms went back to the cold south. The sun warmed the sand hills, and spring ran over the countryside with new leaves and little bush buds. Before long, the open season for duck shooting came around again. Uh oh. Oh, God. From the start, Mr. Percival hated the shooters. He harried them whenever he could. Sometimes he just sat staring at them rudely until they grew impatient, chased them away. But most of all, he flew around and round their hiding places in wide circles like a cumbersome old airplane on patrol. They got the timing all wrong with the, the text and the running. Um, I would assume this is not something you would want to read terribly quickly, I guess? But even then, I don't know. I feel like the, the text is too short. Before long, the ducks understood Mr. Percival's warnings and kept away. The shooters grew angrier and angrier. Did they escalate this? Did they start shooting little kids? What's going on? Maybe they did. And so it went on until one terrible morning in February. Wow, guy. The, oh, game, you're not going to make me shoot, are you? Mr. Percival, get down! Don't shoot! It's Mr. Percival! Oh, boy. His voice was drowned by the roar of the gun. In the world, Hideaway said sadly, there will always be men who are cruel, just as there will always be men who are lazy or stupid or wise or kind. Today you've seen what cruel and stupid men can do. And at nine o'clock, Mr. Percival died. Okay, so I fly with a mouse on this one. Well, I can fly with the keys, but my mouse is in there. Oh boy. to the climate and sit next to him. Oh, nope. Mr. Percival, uh, Stormboy whispered, you're the best, best friend I've ever had. Aww. And always above them in their mind's eye, they can see the shape of the two big wings in the storm clouds and the flying scud. Two wings of white with trailing black edges spread across the sky. For birds like Mr. Percival, do not really die. Again, if you guys enjoyed watching this, maybe go over to Steam, buy the game for $6, and maybe send it to a friend. Devs, uh, I think devs should be supported for going out on a limb and making a game like this. 
a game that that's kind of a little unconventional something that that might not you know make the front page of steam you know um i really like it when devs take chances like this so there you guys go thank you for watching and we'll see you next time Bye bye